look at tonight's first act. We are a married couple from Vienna, Austria. Together we perform the mind reading revolution. I did not know magic exists before I met Luca. When I saw her the first time, I couldn't read him, read my own thoughts, <laughs> let alone hers. So, our first date, Luca showed me a magic trick. I wanted to prepare her because, as a wife of a magician, how yourself, did you know I would be your wife? <laughs> well, I was impressed. Okay. So we are now two times Austrian champions, twice Vice World champions. We are trying to be the first foolers. Who reveal our method in advance and uh, hope that it will fool them nevertheless. Concentrate on this next act. Mentalist duo Anka and Luca. We want to show you tonight our mind reading revolution. And in a fooler's first, we are going to reveal our method even before we start. Pen, I know you understand if we tell Teller first. Because he has a quality that I'm striving for, which is talking as little as possible. Teller, will you please join us on stage? Hello. What a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> In the meantime, let me tell you about our $1 million promise. We don't use any prearrangements or secret assistance, and no hidden electronic device. And our secret lies not in these blackened swimming goggles either. Can you please check them? If you want absolute darkness, this is what you want to go for. Thank you. Now, tell, now that you know our most treasured secret, uh, would you tell everybody else? <laughs> Thank you. Tell her. I want to guess an object, but I would like to revolutionize the choice from the usual 20, 30 objects to one of a thousand. Just imagine any object anyone could have brought with them today. Take your pen. Write down the name of the object on the board. And tell her in your mind. Now cover it with your hands. <laughs> yes, good, thanks. All right. And try to bring it here on this stage. Imagine the last time you've seen it. Your thoughts make me think of wanting to eat something. Is it a kumquat? Okay, now, tell her, I want you to create a random 12-digit number on the board. And faster? Wonderful, huh? Now look at the numbers. The first figure. Seven. Thanks, yes. But read the remaining positions. Two, one, eight, four, um, five, six, 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 eight, two and one. Finally, I want you to think of a person we cannot know, but whose birthday do you know? I want to guess their star sign, their zodiac. But this time we won't show the audience. Please take your pen. Start writing. And tell her in your mind. <laughs> Darling, please look at the zodiac sign. Think of this person's character, a Libra or a Scorpio. Yes, it's caught between the two signs towards the end of October, I'd say on the 21st, on the 22nd of October, 1956. If I'm correct, please raise your hand. Good. But wait a second. 
Can you please think of this person's name? I want to try something else. Fine, yes, okay. Come close to me and give me your hand. <laughs> Tim. Were you thinking of Tim? Thank you very much. Please bring the goggles to Penn as a souvenir. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Mind reading must be very difficult. Well, if I have to read his mind, that's easy for me. Right, because you guys know each other. Yeah, but that's not mind reading, that's marriage. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <sighs> and so when you met, were you both magicians? No, no. I had a completely different life. I changed my life 180 degrees for and because of Luca. Uh, he has been a magician for over 20 years, and I used to be a business consultant. Financial analysis, yeah. Wow, so you really turned her world upside down. Sure. She did mine too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have two little boys now, and they together, they're working on turning our world upside down every day. And it seems like you told Teller how you did the trick. Exactly, right. yes. exactly. He so knows. Teller yeah. knows, and now Penn knows. And uh, the only question is does it feel for them as impossible as it sometimes feels? for us when we watch our performances afterwards, that they feel amazed and even fooled maybe a little bit, despite of knowing how the method works? Oh, hey look, Teller's got your goggles on. <laughs> no? All right. Good. Did you figure it out, guys? Well, we're, uh, we're working on it, you know. Uh, great act, just so classy, so nice, so, uh, so pleasant. You know, we gotta tell you, the sign you get up there, no electronics, no hidden assistance, da -da -da -da, some tricky bastards. Might put that sign up and then use those things. Oh. You didn't. No. <laughs> oh, no. Some tricky bastards might tell Teller one method and do it by a different method. No. Y you didn't do that either. What you did was a wonderful, wonderful act, but you have to remember you're at a real disadvantage because you're doing this in front of two people who uh, have done stuff like this for over 40 years. So you, uh, you took a really big chance. It was really, really interesting to tell Teller ahead of time, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit of mentalism myself. And uh, as you know, Teller cannot see. He cannot see at all. Uh, he can't see a thing. And I want to tell you right now, mentally I'm sending this to you, tell her, did they fool us? I don't think you did, but it was a great act. Thank you so much. Um, okay.